guessing the word, but you were not speaking. Why? You knew the word, right? You knew. I guess you mumbled the word effort in mind or in your mouth, but you didn't speak. I want to know why. Why did you hold this? Now let's dive into the session. Okay, okay man. Thank you, first of all, for giving me this beautiful opportunity. I'm very glad about this, ma'am. <laughs> I'm very excited to uh -huh. watch you, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. And I am also thrilled to have you today in this session. First of all, let me know uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very... Uh, First of all, um, before this session, I was feeling very nervous. So what I will tell uh, now I'm comfortable. Okay, that's good. And very happy and very excited. That's great. That's great. Okay. Uh, how, uh, since we are meeting for the very first time, so first of all, I would like to know about yourself. May I know? Okay, ma'am. Thank you for asking. My name is Susmita Kosik. I'm from B uh, UP uh, mm -hmm. now. Basically, I'm from Assam. Uh, my husband doing job here that's why we are living here about my qualification now i'm pursuing master degree uh, mm -hmm. as well as i did uh, i have done computer application uh, degree as a pgdca course and now mm -hmm. i'm mother of one person homemaker also that's all about me yes ma'am yeah so in which stream you are doing your master uh, art stream, uh, education subject from IGNO. Okay, IGNO. Okay, great. Great to know about it. Uh, and are you uh, a working professional too right now? Like, are you doing something as a part-time? No, ma'am. I did not do anything because I have a baby. He is now around three years old. That's why oh. I have to take care of him. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, Okay, so what what do you do in your laser time? Uh, I watch some videos, English related videos, sometimes movies and uh, conversation videos, and um, I use uh, some books to read, uh, grammatical oh. for improve my grammar also. Mm -hmm. uh, like this. Hmm. Okay, great, great. Okay, so let me introduce myself to. As you know, my name is Agnes. I am Shri from Shri Ganganagar and I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU, New Delhi. Currently, I run a YouTube channel and I provide paid sessions to beginners as I consider myself an intermediate speaker of this language. And I am aspiring to become advanced speaker in 2024. If I talk about my hobbies, I always love reading books. Yeah, I want to be a voracious reader in this 2024. That is my biggest uh, priority to focus on. Yeah, that's all about me. Wow, ma'am. Very glad about to know you. Why, uh, why are you learning? Uh, why you uh, take degree of this language, ma'am? I want to know about this Korean language. Do you want to go abroad or do you want a job of this, mm -hmm. this language? No, I, 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 don't this, want, I don't want to go abroad actually and uh, uh, I think many people ask the same question that why did you learn Korean it was happened to me accidentally actually I was just aspiring to do something different and at that time in 12th standard I got to know about languages and universities then I tried to you know give the entrance examinations and luckily I can say fortunately and accidentally I got admission in Korean language so like this, I started and I completed graduation in Korean. Yeah. But right now, I think I'm not aspiring to do anything in Korean. I am more inclined towards English language, which is my love. You can say first love. Yeah. Initially, I had really bad relationship with English, but now it is really, I can say it is my love now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. very fluent English speaker. Just I want to become a like you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep practicing. You will be one day. As you know, my mantra was consistency. As you can see, I am working on my channel for it's around the, it's around one year and a half. So I am very consistent with one practice. 
but uh, i have you know scrutinized myself now in past year last year that uh, whenever i don't read on regular basis or when i skip reading practice i feel or i face a lot of challenges hurdles while speaking and then i am not even able to use nice words and not sometimes i fumble too sometimes i forget words so it happens when you are not stick to the you know uh, habits which are required or things which are required in order to become fluent which is reading listening and then speaking practices so do everything on regular basis you will be there one day you will get desired results i must say yeah okay <laughs> ma'am thank you for advising okay yeah, ma'am yeah. what do you do for improve this uh, language ma'am what did you do hmm. um, before what did i do okay uh i started with the listening practice only i was not liking grammar patterns at all uh whenever i started with grammar first initially when i didn't know how to speak in english i used to start with grammar books and i used to you know uh quit the journey in between because it is always difficult to learn grammar patterns and then speak then i switched my uh, you know way of learning and i started listening practice a lot started doing listening practice a lot i used to listen to a lot uh, till 2020 to august 22 i was just doing the listening practice i was not talking to anyone then in 22 uh, august 22 i joined clappingo i started talking to you know tutors like this first listening then speaking practice then i got feedbacks from different applications i joined english ari too later then i got feedbacks i work accordingly according to feedbacks according to like what my setbacks are then uh, i worked accordingly and nowadays still i am learning uh, like there is always room for improvement so i'm learning focusing on words which are a little advanced and commonly used so i'm focusing on uh, those words and i'm doing the reading practice listening practice yeah these are the things uh, like how i have improved yeah hmm. anything else that you want to ask Yeah, ma'am. How much uh, important grammar on this speaking language? This English. It is important. Without grammar, you cannot speak. But you should know the way how to, you know, learn grammar simultaneously while listening, reading, and learning. Ah, uh, like if if we talk about Hindi language, we don't mug up grammar rules. We just, you know, listen to many. Ah, uh, when there is a baby in our house, he just listens. to everyone how they are constructing sentences how they are speaking and he picks those you know words and structures and in chunks like mujhe pani do is just a chunk of the whole sentence so he listen to and then he learns and then he speaks he doesn't know anything about grammar so if it is okay for you if you can do just go with that flow like listen many uh, conversations and speeches in english then copy and then you know imitation the shadowing is the right technique for that shadow you know repeat after those speakers and uh, learn some words if there is a new word note down in your notebook and before having conversation with anyone just go through all those words then go in the session and then speak so that will help you to you know keep those words in mind and speak while use while speaking so i guess it is important to learn grammar but the way should be little different if you are feeling little monotonous while learning grammar separately yeah yeah ma'am environment is also matter of to speaking english not is english also every language yeah yeah true true okay any question still do you have any question for me um okay no problem but i have okay uh okay i Okay, hmm. go ahead, please. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I would love to answer your questions. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, I just want to uh, know about this. If uh, if you want to share your Josh Stock journey, then I would like to know about this. Ah, oh, Josh Stock journey. Ah, uh, I have already shared, I guess, on my channel. Ah, uh, I created a blog, different blog about that because right after delivering the speech, I was really thrilled, excited. So right after that, I just recorded a video. Ah, uh, before even coming back, just coming out from the office, I just recorded the video. So you can watch that. I was the you wanna know the journey. It is not a journey. Just I received an email from Josh Tok. They visited my channel and then they 
I received an email and I responded to email. It was really hard for me to believe that it is true and it is from Josh Talk. Uh, first, I doubted and then I, you know, we checked and I uh, shared with one or two of my friends. And then uh, you must know about the Hathi ma'am. So I shared with her too, like, is it right or wrong? And we discussed and then she uh, said, yeah, it is a right one. Then I just replied to them. We talked over call uh, two to three times. Then they shared everything like uh, where to come and how to do these things. And then I prepared that. And it was, I guess I can say, it was the biggest achievement uh, in 2023. So it was really amazing. Great experience of delivering a speech on a stage. I haven't done it <laughs> before. Like in schools, I... I tried only once. I delivered a speech, but not in, you know, this much confidently or in English. I was not good at English. So overall, it was really great experience. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, they connect through mail. Yeah. They, when, when, once they get to know about you, your journey, and uh, if it is inspiring, it if it seems inspiring to them, they just send emails. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. This stage is very, uh, you know, uh, how can I say, inspiring to other. Yes, it is. Yeah. And I always wanted to go, not always, but uh, after becoming a YouTuber, I was aspiring to go and deliver a speech over there. And uh, fortunately, it happened really early. I was not expecting this much early. It is one unexpected thing. I was aspiring to go, but not this much early. <laughs> that is accidental, or I can say fortunate enough. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. I want to know about more questions, please. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I am here to answer. Okay. Ma'am, they um, can provide and they provide some, uh, you know, prize like uh, you are doing great things. Uh, you are doing help to others. They are some provide some money as a prize or not. No, for no. Going. It's not like that. They just ask and call you for the, you know, speech, the inspiring story uh, behind your success. Or behind whatever you have achieved like i was not good at i was very poor at english so i have done this i have learned english so now i am confident enough to you know express my thoughts in front of others in front of strangers so that i guess if there is anything inspiring they just bring them on stage and yeah there is no i guess prize anything yeah okay just i want to know about this that's all uh you know, uh, some uh, too much people, too many people scam there. They are doing too much things uh, and different uh, ways. Not mm -hmm. only this English journey, they also come there from uh, IS officer. Also, they are come uh, to share their journey. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to know about this. Okay, let's discuss now. Uh, so there are two words. I'm going to explain to you two words, and you have to guess those words. I would try my level best to explain in a well manner and you have to guess the word. So that will help you to think a little faster. Simultaneously, like once you are listening okay. to me at the same time, you have to think. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. So the first word is, if something is physically difficult and hard, that requires a lot of energy. This is also called dash. If Please some, repeat, ma'am. If something is physically difficult and hard, you need to put some extra dash. Extra? Yeah. The your word voice, is speaking. Your, your voice is breaking between. Am I audible? Uh, now? Some, uh, physically? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to me very carefully. If there is something which is physically hard, difficult, you need to put some extra dash, extra kind of energy. And the word you have to guess. I don't know. Ma See, if there is something which is really difficult for you physically, what would you do? What would you put extra in that in order to complete the task? What would you do? 
energy related to energy uh, and things? yoga no if there is a task which is really difficult and hard you need to put some extra energy in it and there is a different word for it what do you need to put in extra that is effort effort you need to put some extra effort if that is a physically difficult or tough okay. you were i guess guessing the word but you were not speaking why you knew <laughs> the word right you knew i guess you mumbled the word effort in mind or in your mouth but you didn't speak i want to know why why did you hold this um i did not understand properly that so i mean you, you got my point i think about this yeah, yeah i think about this maybe it's a... mm -hmm. yes yes it is even conspicuous that if it if there is something a task which is physically tough or difficult we need to put some extra efforts and you also got the point yes you just understood what i am talking about but you didn't speak so i just want to know now like why did you hold the answer why didn't you speak uh, i think uh, this is maybe going wrong that's why <laughs> yes that is one thing we have to remove I, from our mind because you know uh, i thought is, you don't need to think about yeah. it right you have to just speak instead of thinking okay, it okay ma'am over yeah. yeah i think right. over yeah instead of thinking about it can be wrong think it can be right too yeah okay okay ma'am hmm yeah okay keep in mind from next time whenever you know anything whether it is wrong or right just go for it first just speak if you are thinking it can be wrong it can be right too na just think about that too there are 50 50 chances then go with the right one okay yeah yes yeah, thing is uh when when there is i think when you go to purchase something if there are different options like five to six options and you have to choose one you have to select one and when once when when you have to select one there is a particular word here which you have to use or people use for you you have to select one at the end you have to pick one so instead of saying have to what other word we can use the word starts with d let me help you d decided decide not decided decide yeah if there are a lot of options you have to pick one you have to decide great one now <laughs> you just you the, the answer came to your mind and immediately you spoke which is great and you have to do this like this you you will be able to remove the fear of you know getting wrong going wrong or you know rejections so this is the right practice you can do go for it whatever comes in your mind okay yeah there is a word can you see this word unprecedented 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 so do you know the meaning of unprecedented unprecedented no ma'am Hmm. Let me give you an example of unprecedented and try to guess the meaning of unprecedented. Okay. So COVID nineteen was totally unprecedented for the world. COVID nineteen was unprecedented for the world. So can you just guess the meaning? What could be a meaning of the unprecedented? um unprecedented i think uh, uh, people are not pre present to anywhere no 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 uh, let me help you unprecedented means okay, covid was the thing which never happened or other example also we can say uh, another that is um, lockdown again was totally unprecedented for uh, for the country right so unprecedented means the thing which never happened or never done or uh, known before 
if something is there that wasn't known before or is not done ever it is new or happening for the very first time then it is unprecedented unprecedented oh. hmm okay yeah so uh, i guess around one year it the word was always there in the newspaper always i used to read uh because during covid i was preparing for banking and i used to read the newspaper the hindu newspaper and this word was there always every single day because they were just you know writing about covid and lockdown the things like that so unprecedented word was always there yeah just like lockdown covid 19 and unprecedented it was always there yeah no issues okay so the okay. last question it is a kind of a random question for you okay so okay. if you get 10 crores accidentally in your account and if you receive this kind of message on your phone there is a screen on your phone and you receive this message that you have been credited 10 crores in your account so first tell me your reaction how would you react first of all i first of all i want to check this is a uh, true or false because uh, this is, there is not chance to get 10 crore from any uh, from mm. any uh, true yes first of all i would like to know about her how where from it's come on my account and why hmm okay uh, first of all i would like to confirm about this and after that uh, why it's come on my account and uh, after confirmation then mm. i will ask them why you think why you sent me this money first of all what mm. is the reason of behind this because i i don't uh because i i did not save uh, too much mm. money anywhere okay from and i it, uh, i guess yeah and it doesn't belong to me that is again a true fact okay okay so we like assume like you got this much money in your account so what would you like to do now with this 10 crores sorry sorry ma'am what would you like to do with 10 crores if you receive okay ma'am uh, if i accidentally receive too much money 10 crore then uh, i will uh, fulfill some my dreams then i will like to share with um, a uh, needed person too because this is not my uh, you know work money because this money i got accidentally that's why i don't want to use too much money from there i will share with a needed person also that's lovely to know okay that's great uh, yeah that's it from my side any question anything that you want to ask before ending the session yeah yes. we are going to end this right now yes. i think we have done now okay so let me just wind up the session right here and it was really nice interacting with you thank you so much for connecting with me and in future too if you like you can just remind me once and we will have another session on different uh, we'll discuss different words which will improve your thinking process and which will you know remove your fear too yeah Okay, ma'am. I'm very glad to see you, and uh, thank you again for giving me this no beautiful way. opportunity.